Hi everybody and welcome back and thank you for joining me with another Photoshop CS5 tutorial. Today we're going to talk about adjustment layers. In particular we're going to talk about the hue saturation adjustment layer. We're going to use this layer to change the color or hue of the water that this young lady is standing in. Um, as you can see this is a river shot and the backdrop is green as well as the water has a shade of green as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these layers to uh, change the color to a little bit more of a turquoise to emphasize the model. So we'll start by going to layer, adjustment layer, hue saturation, and you can name it whatever you like. We'll call this blue uh, in the name of simplicity. Um, in your hue saturation adjustment layer panel, we've got different aspects and different um, properties that we can adjust. Uh, for hue, you can change the different hues, and they will correspond to each one of the different channels, reds, yellows, greens, cyan, blues, and magentas. And saturation will change the amount of the color that is being used. And then lastly, we've got our lightness variable, which uh, does the obvious of adjusting the white and black layers for this particular property sheet. So we'll reset everything back to zero. And today we want to change the color of the water to a more turquoise blue type color. So we'll go right around, with this particular image, we'll go right around 80 for the master. And saturation looks good. So we'll go ahead and commit these changes. So now you see that we've discolored just about everything around this young lady. So that's, that's where we'll take advantage of the layer mask that's attached to these different adjustment layers. We'll select our brush tool. We'll ensure that the foreground color is black. And we'll set our opacity to 100%. In doing this, we can paint out the areas that we do not wish to be recolored, like so. Now we'll just do kind of a quick paint over so you can get the gist of it. There will be some details that I'll miss, but I am confident in your capabilities that you won't miss these details in your photographs and your edits. See, I splashed over a little bit of color there. Obviously, I need to zoom in a little bit. Don't want my pride to get ahead of me. I just want to take the color off her arm, a little bit off the hip. And then we'll look at our backdrop. Now we know that the sky is not violet, so we will brush that out with our layer mask. We'll bring that nice forest green back to all those trees. I'm missing a little bit around her head. And there we go. Now, as you can see there is some discoloration. Oh boy. I missed that whole spot. Here we go. Alright, that's better. So you notice around her body with the different hues and tones and colors in the water that we're going to have some discoloration. I'll show you how to shape that up here by using the solid color well first let's get our eyedropper tool and select the optimum color to cover this with. So we'll select the oh my god Hi, I sincerely hope everyone is doing well and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the hue saturation adjustment layer and how we'll use that to change the color of the water in this photograph. Uh, the hue saturation adjustment layer will uh, allow us to change certain aspects of the uh, color of the photograph. Um, attached to it will be an, a, a layer mask that will allow us to paint out the areas that we don't want affected by this particular adjustment layer. We'll go ahead and get started. We'll create a new layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation. And we'll name this blue for simplicity's sake. 
and also because I have no idea how to spell turquoise, which you can comment to me later uh, on the particular spelling of that. Um, we could use this, uh, this tool, this slider, to pick our color, but I like to use the overall hue master value just to get the, uh, the water where I want it. And you'll note that um, there is some contamination in the tones, which we could go back and then and select that area to change that particular area's hue as well to more match the turquoise. Well, I can't seem to find an area where that works. Well, that works good enough. And uh, we'll also use the uh, the color adjustment layer, the solid color adjustment layer, to to paint out some of the some of the contaminated colors as well. As you can see, that's uh, that's pretty much completely reversed or uh, tainted some of the colors in the photograph. So if we'll go back to our layers panel, we'll see that it created us a, a layer mask so that we can paint out the areas that we don't want affected by this particular layer. So we'll do that now with uh, definitely not with the paint bucket tool. So we'll use the, the brush tool at a 100% opacity. Um, 0% hardness, we want a soft brush for this. And we want our foreground color to be black so we can start to paint out these areas that we don't want affected. And I'll go quick, I won't go for every little detail. You guys will get the gist of it and I have faith uh, that in your efforts you will be a little bit more attentive to detail I'm sure than I'm being right now but I just want you to get the overall feel of what we're doing here. So, we've got the smaller areas down here. We don't want under her arms to be that way. So, okay, I said I wasn't going to do that. All right, let's go. Let's bring our brush much larger for the bigger portion of this. Get the sky all removed from this layer. Oh, see I spilled over into the water. We've got some of that green back. It's my fault for using a giant brush. Alright, so we'll change our foreground layer again. We'll make sure we got all that stuff covered back there. I think I got it all, or at least the gist here. Um, You'll note that there's still some color contamination. You see purple, some yellow, and there's not a whole bunch we can do about that within hue saturation just because it's such a uh, a blanket fix for this particular issue. So we'll go back to our adjustment layers button. Well, first let's sample the color we're going to use to cover this up, and we'll go with the nice, oh boy. We'll select the actual hue saturation mask it doesn't help being on the adjustment layer or on the layer mask. So we'll select our color. We'll create a solid color layer and we'll change that blend mode to color or hue. It depends on which one works better in the particular photograph. Either one will do. So in this particular one we'll f go to edit fill. We want to fill it entirely with black. We wanted it we want to be able to paint in only the areas we need, so the minimal effort. It's my principle. So in opacity, we'll change the opacity level to 75 because we don't want to oversaturate some of the areas. We'll start to paint in where we need our different, where we need our changes in color here. In the yellow, we'll get some of that out. As you can see, her figure is still there, but it's just not yellow anymore some of these deeper purples back here we'll pay a little bit more attention to. Get a bigger brush and get some of that back there. Now it's not perfect but you get the concept of uh, where I'm going with that. So there we have it. And that's, uh, we've got a good before and after. Now should we want a um, couple of different things we can do here just in addition to this particular concept is uh, we can create a a layer if you if you hold alt go to your flyout menu merge visible 
Also a good uh, hotkey I use all the time, although it probably takes up most of my system memory, is Control-Alt-Shift-E, which will create us a, a layer comprised of all the layers below it so that we can affect that without directly affecting any of the layers on the bottom. So we'll use this and we'll use the screen blend mode to brighten up the water a little bit. We could also use a curves utility which I'll go into in another tutorial. So we'll take this layer mask here for the water. We'll holding alt, we'll drag it up to layer two. And you, see, you can see that brightened our water up a little bit and we can bring down the opacity, bring it up just a little bit there. And uh, another thing we could do, just uh, a little bonus tip, is uh, we'll use our same hotkey, Control, Alt, Shift, E, to create another combined layer. And uh, we can increase the vibrance and the color, um, color volume, I like to call it, of, the, uh, of her bathing suit. So we'll hit that, and then we will... Uh, create a negative layer mask by holding Alt and clicking the layer mask button. And then we will, ensuring our foreground color is white, we will paint on a little bit of additional color to the bathing suit. We don't want to oversaturate too much. I would have left the vibrance on for the entire thing, but that just brings out some of the more key or interesting parts of the photograph. And there we have it, guys. We've got a good before and after. Thanks very much for joining us. I uh, hope to see you next time.